welcome back to my channel. It's your girl, Letitia Charisma. If you are new, that means you are now a part of my K-Squad. Let's go ahead and jump right into it. So today, we are talking about the new Cloud9 Swiss Lace wig. Her name is Estelle. I have her in the color, Color Block 1B-27. This is gonna be a 13 by six lace frontal and this was sent to me from sensational which means they are sponsoring this video today now it still is not out on wig websites this is definitely a preview i don't know when the unit is going to be coming out but i'm hoping august you guys so let's just let's girl cool, let's get into it so this comes with your standard two combs in the front one comb in the back with your adjustable straps. This is definitely gonna be big head girl friendly. I do have a smaller sized head and she is fitting me nice and snug. I didn't have to adjust the straps or the comb. So that is always a plus in my book. But first of all, let's go ahead and get into the color. So I was a little bit taken aback by the color at first because I'm like, oh my God, it's giving skunk. But on camera, it's really gorgeous. The color block 1B slash 27. It was giving skunk, but it's cute, right? Like, y'all just tell me down below if y'all think it's cute. Y'all tell me down below. Anywho, star of the show, besides the 13 by 6 lace frontal, is definitely going to be the texture of Miss Estelle. Miss Estelle is going to be a very light, soft, yakky textured unit, which we are loving because although Miss Lady is a long unit, Miss Lady is long, y'all. She definitely long, I'm going to say 30 inches, but the texture... It's so soft and it's yakky, which is what I wanted. I didn't want a heavy yakky, but the soft yakky is definitely giving. Density on the stale is perfect, not too thin, not too thick. I do not feel tracks going throughout the unit. And you would think, you know, for being along the unit, you would think at the at the nape you would feel a couple of tracks back there, but I really don't feel any. Now, also, the layers in the stale. Yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am, yes, ma'am. Three layers popping off, one layer here, two layers in the middle, and your third, obviously, is going to be the 30 inches below. Yes, ma'am, she is definitely a long one, but the layers are just adding so much structure to the unit, and it's really framing my face beautifully. I'm not for sure if that's the layers or the 1B27, like, kind of framing my face as well, because I'm thinking, okay, if I had this in number one, would it still, like, frame my face well? And I'm thinking it pretty much would because of the layers, also because of how I have this style. Now, being that this is a 13 by 6 lace frontal, that means you are going to get 6 back, 13 across. You can do anything you want up top there, half up, half down, flip left, flip right, whatever you want to do. I decided to go in with a middle part because I was looking here on the stock card. She has a middle part and then she has a flip to the right, I believe. But you definitely can do a half up, half down, which I did not want to do with this unit, especially with the color. I just thought that it would make me like I'm 16 and I just didn't want that at the time. Speaking of the color blocks, this comes in one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight specialty colors. Three of those being natural colors. And although I'm wearing the color block 127, the chunky highlight blonde and the chunky highlight 30, yes, yes, I'm telling y'all. Yes, okay? So of course this is a what lace unit and we all know with Sensational, the what laces, as far as the hairlines are concerned, they're pretty decent. You don't have to do too much pre-plucking, not if you don't want to, it's just pretty much your preference. But the lace pretty much blends within your skin. I did cut the baby hair off and it does come with a great amount of baby hair. So if you're not really into the thick baby hair, you can cut yours off too, girl. Because y'all know I do not do baby hair. But I was really taken aback because when I did cut the baby hair off, I'm like, oh God, it's going to look kind of fakey up there. But it really looks like it's coming out my scalp. So I, once again, I don't know if that's the 27 highlighting that or not. But either way... Hairline is absolutely perfect. So the shedding and tangling, you're definitely going to get both because the length is so long on this unit. I did use a vent brush to brush this out and it was shedding all over the place. I'm not for sure if that's because I did cut the lace, but once I kind of got all the kinks out of it, it stopped. So I mean, it, I guess it just depends, but either way, since it's a super long unit, you're definitely going to get your tangling and shedding, especially back there at the nape. So just keep that in mind, ladies. Also, although it's long, it's very long. Like, wait, would I suggest this for the summer? Probably not. I will probably keep this in my closet until around the fall time because it's just a lot of hair laying on your neck and your back. 
So I definitely wouldn't recommend this for the summer, but definitely for the fall. So as far as styling the style, it was really simple. Just went in with my concealer there at the crown, and I just went ahead and did my middle part. And also, like I said before, I cut the baby hair and the lace. And I did go up under the lace with my Anastasia Beverly Hills bronzing powder as well. As far as putting heat to this, it is heat safe, but I didn't put any heat to this unit at all because I just felt like it wasn't necessary, but you definitely can do it with your unit. All I did was add some spritz up there just to the crown right in the front because I wanted to keep those highlights popping and I wanted to kind of lift it up a little bit there just to give it a little oomph. So I just put it, went in with a little bit of spritz, a little bit of spritz went in with my big brush and i was pretty much good to go because the hair pretty much styles itself the big beautiful barrel curls i mean and these layers the hair pretty much styles itself so i wasn't in the mirror no longer than 10 minutes and that is a plus especially with this being a 13 by 6 frontal but you know me girl i am the queen of minimalistic i am not trying to do nothing but put these wigs on and look cute so let's just jump into my pros and cons so the cons with this unit I do think it's a little long there. Like, I'm not mad at the layers, but the longest layer is a bit long. I definitely would have wished it would have just hit like right above my bust area. But once again, I'm okay with it because it is lightweight. And usually longer units don't really, I don't really trip off them too hard. So it could have been a little bit shorter, but I'm not mad at that at all. Also, there is a bit of shade and tangling, but that's to be expected because it is a longer synthetic unit. But still not mad at it. As far as the uh, pros are concerned, they definitely going to outweigh the cons. I love the fact that this comes in an array of beautiful specialty colors that you definitely can play with. Love the fact that this is a 13 by 6 frontal. Once again, more room to play with your wig and style her the way that you want. The texture on this is absolutely beautiful as far as the density. Lots of body there. It's very bouncy. Um, it doesn't look wiggy at all or shiny at, at least is what I'm trying to say. So as far as the pros, I love the wig, period. I think it's okay, awesome. That's pretty much it for this review. If you enjoy my content today, don't forget to hit the thumbs up button as well as sub to the K Squad right now. Don't forget to follow me on TikTok and Instagram at Latish Charisma 76 for more hair and beauty related content. I will see you dolls in the next video. And P.S. That picture I put up of that wig with the braids the other day, all you guys' comments had me gagged. The case card is so funny. Y'all just keep me going. Them comments had me dying, girl. But anywho, see y'all in the next video. Stay cute. Bye.